Hi, it's Jennifer Smith. I want to talk to you today about something that's super critical in any relationship, but especially in your marriage relationship. So when you ask people what is like the number one topic, the number one um, important thing that you can do to strengthen your marriage or other relationships, and communication comes up. All right, communication is huge. But sometimes we either we just don't communicate, so there's not an understanding, or when we communicate, we um, don't communicate clearly, or maybe we misinterpret what the other person is trying to tell us. But then there's that communication that comes to those little annoying things that it's not like a big major deal, but over time can be bothersome. And they trigger things in us, and um, sometimes it's just good to communicate and find out what's going on in your spouse's mind. <laughs> Why they do or say those things that might be a little annoying, might bother us a little bit. If I could share, permission please, something about me and my spouse, a little issue. In my kitchen, we use the dishwasher a lot, but there's always those dishes that you should wash by hand or you, you might ruin them, or they just don't fit in the load that, you know, once you load the dishwasher, oh, I gotta wash some by hand. And then I have these little drying mats. Sometimes I'll just use a really thick dish towel um, but I have these nice thick drying mats that I like to use. And I will be in the kitchen cooking. I do have a couple a couple of sets of measuring cups. I have a couple of sets of measuring spoons because I like to cook. And sometimes I need a certain measuring spoon or measuring cup. And um, it's in the sink dirty or it's in the dishwasher. So extras help, but sometimes I just have to wash. <laughs> if I'm, especially during the holidays if I'm cooking a lot. I will have to wash something, and so I'm in the middle of cooking, right? I'm focused on, on this yummy food that I'm preparing, and I have to wash this little measuring cup, and I go to grab the dish towel, and the dish towel is underneath a pan and a pot and a bowl. It's like underneath. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> Why is the dish towel not like on top of the dishes, which is what I do when I wash dishes. I'll just kind of Put it on top. FYI, my, my mother's living with me right now, that time of our lives when I'm able to care for her. And one day she commented, oh, look how nice all the dishes are off the counter. And I said, well, yeah, I put them away this morning, but I usually air dry them. I don't stand there and dry them. She taught me to dry them and put them away so the kitchen is super tidy. Mm, sorry, not me. <laughs> so anyway, back to needing to dry off the measuring cup. Why is the towel underneath this pile of dishes? And then I have to, you know, stop for a minute, move the dishes, get the towel, dry, you know. I'm just one of those persons that are those people that like, let's get to it, let's get the job done so we can enjoy the yummy food, right? So it kind of bothered me. So finally one day, I said to my husband, who's the only other one living in this house, and my mom's not allowed in the kitchen because of her age and because she's getting a little frail and she's here because we're caring for her. So we cook and clean and take care of her. Um, so I knew my husband would put the dish towel underneath the dishes. I'm like, how does that even happen anyway? Because <laughs> if you wash the dishes and you set them over there to dry, I don't know. I had to know. But... If there's ever something that you want to have a conversation with your spouse and you know that they might get offended or it might trigger something in them, I want to share a tip with you. It worked really, really excellent, okay? And whatever wording you want, but if you know, because we know there's some things that they're going to be offended. They're going to say, why are you, why are you criticizing me for that, right? Because we all kind of go there. We all kind of feel like when our spouse says something towards us that's that's annoying them or bothering them, that you know there's something wrong with us or they're getting on our case or whatever, however you feel, right? 
but I knew that this might bug him for me to just ask him. So what I said, my tip is, I said, I need to ask you something and please don't be offended or don't let it bug you. I just want to know. I just want to know why you do this. <laughs> okay. And I probably said it kind of like that with a smile or a laugh. So he's prepared. So in communication, if you prepare your spouse, now we're not talking about the deep, mm, really tough topics. Okay. Those are the delicate things that need to be um, addressed. We're talking about everyday things, little things that bug you and annoy you. If you can just say something to prepare them for what you're going to ask them. So he's prepared, right? And I am like, why do you put the dish towel under the dishes when they put them on the drying towel? Because there's already a drying mat there. And he says, well, I don't know. I really haven't thought about it. And he says, well, I guess because I think I'll just put that there because it will catch more of the water as the dishes are drying. Um, and that's why. <laughs> and then later he said to me, as we talked about this, he said, I'm really happy that you kind of prepared me by saying, hey, don't let this bother you, get offended. I'm just wondering why you do this. But he says, I'm thinking, what is the big deal, right? What is the big deal that you're bothered by the dish towel being under the dishes? And so, but I was able to actually explain it to him, like I've already done to you, that when I'm in the kitchen, I'm really busy, I'm cooking, and I need to wash something, and I need to grab that dish towel for me to have to move, move a pile of dishes. <laughs> it's really annoying, right? So there's another tip for you. Uh, if you share something or you ask your spouse a question and have them explain their side, don't leave them hanging. Don't leave them wondering, why, do, why does that annoy you? Why does that bother you? Because if you explain it to them, they might go, oh, okay. And it creates this higher level of understanding. It creates this higher level of respect. And it creates this deeper level of communication, open, honest communication. And sometimes we're afraid to go there and be vulnerable. So cool. I hope you like my tip. Something annoying, bothersome, just make sure you prepare them and ask them for the truth, right? So have a super great day. Bye.